driver. <laughs> Welcome to Time Travel 58 and a second look at Ken Coleman's Betamax tapes filmed by his wife Bev at York Raceway. We're going to kick off with a bit of Run What You Brung action from 1985 and then a look at four meetings from the 1986 season.
the cheap drag racing car. I thought a drag racing car wouldn't have went up and down drag strips. Ah, <laughs> ah. <Popular> So what? Yeah, it's using nitrous. You what? You hear it then?
Set him up in the same spot again. On to 1986, and the first race at York was the Open Nationals on May the 17th, which included a visit by Gary Page in the Panic Funny Car, and Dave Wright had some new Goodyear slicks on his Roadrunner, which resulted in some wheels up launches and a wild ride.
The weekend of the 21st and 22nd of June saw the annual Street Racer Championships, sponsored once again by Street Machine magazine.
August the 10th saw the Northern Jet Nationals. Come 
down. Break it. Break the car, please. Break it.
And in terms of across the line, the actual award, the actual result will go to Barry Potter in the Lotus Elan. So that's uh, one of these unfortunate things that you good people can't see. That's the conditions that uh, one of the rules we follow here in this sport was to the line. SG of 57, Dave Grady's Ford F100 pickup, Thunder Truck it's called, all 472 cubic inches, carrying sponsorship from United Motors. United Motors, the...
So, Nigel Carter going off with a trophy tonight. That's better with the final super gun. The final race of 1986 at York was the Grand Finals on the 14th of September. Kenny Coleman then coming down to stage to make his first qualifier of the day with the Super Gas Car SG9. Big Chevy in there, 407. Turned out inside to check out the road switch. Oh, 
66 car of Nigel Carter from Leeds. Kenny Coleman in the left hand lane from Castleford.
So forth. Then in the left hand lane. Trying to get fire back into the Chevy. Literally. We were flying back. Rob Holston waiting patiently in the right hand lane, not taking advantage of the 20 second rule. So, two fourth in the competition, old turd. Rob Holston in the right hand lane. Losing fire again. Are we going to see another 10 from Rob? Yeah, another 10. 10.89. These are races, four eliminations, no round robins, no best of threes. These are all heads up races. If you lose, you're out for good. Darl Edwards, S7 in the chopped Mustang, low profile Mustang from Sherburn. From a little bit further away, Barry Potter from London with the Lotus Elan KM1. It may seem a little bit unfair, but uh, when you've seen the Lotus Elan go, it's a very, very quick little car. A Paladin Lotus of Barry Potter from London. Daryl Edwards in the uh, evil looking Mustang. Nitro 
or generates spare legs of oxygen. So uh, you then have to pump extra extra fuel in, extra petrol in, to uh, mix with the spare oxygen that the uh, nitrous has generated. So, Kenny Coleman broken then, uh, not able to run alongside Dave Wright. So Dave Wright just has to make a good clean run to get through uh, this round. Dave Wright then. Just laying a bit of rubber down over the line. by what's written on the car. This uh, is probably the heaviest of the two big gas cars and uh, does run a weight penalty of course, carrying all that steel around. And nevertheless, Snaking up the tyres. Sticky resin. 
put onto the tires to improve the traction away from the line. Nigel Carter leaping down. <laughs> it's kind of bouncing about on the high lift shocks.